With a rock carrying capacity of 31,500 tons, the fall pipe rock dumping vessels, Simon Stevin and Joseph Plateau, are the largest of their kind in the world and one of the few vessels equipped for rock dumping in water depths of up to 2,000 meters. They're designed to carry out the discharge and deposit of rocks and stones on the seabed to cover oil and gas pipelines and cable systems. Besides the very large operational depth, a unique feature of the vessel's feeding system to the full pipe is that it's capable of dealing with a rock size of 400 millimeters, which is more than any other full pipe vessel. For shallow water pipeline sections and scour protection alongside offshore platforms where the stability of the rock is defined by seabed currents, this allows reducing the rock volume and resulting costs. The rocks are carried in two on-deck hoppers with a total load capacity of 31,500 tons. Two identical hydraulic excavators are installed on a pedestal within the two hoppers. Each excavator has the capacity to discharge a maximum of 1,000 tons of rock per hour into a feeder belt system. The rocks are carried to the fall pipe system with two conveyor belts going from each of these hoppers. These conveyor belts can also discharge over the side of the vessel in order to discharge on the key or alternatively into an inclined fall pipe which allows installation of rocks close to the platform legs. The vessel is fitted with an innovative module for the fall pipe system. An ROV or remote operated vehicle is installed at the bottom end of the fall pipe system so that the deposit of rocks is carried out with the highest possible precision. The system is comprised of piping of 12 meters in length. A gantry crane is installed for the handling and mounting of the entire fall pipe system. A total of six hours is required to deploy the entire pipe system to achieve the maximum depth of 2,000 meters. The fall pipe has a diameter of 1,000 millimeters. To allow very accurate positioning close to the platforms, the vessels are fitted with a Class II dynamic positioning system. The vessel is also provided with an actively controlled motion base for the full pipe deployment system to compensate the vessel motion and allow full pipe deployment in C state up to a significant wave height of 3 meters. The vessels boast accommodation facilities to house more than 70 people in the most comfortable conditions. The main deck is the special deck of the vessels. In this deck we can find a large dining room and recreation facilities, including sauna and fitness room. In Australia, a free span correction work on the Pluto pipeline and the pipeline crossing for the Reindeer project was successfully executed. Placement of the rock embankments was done with the greatest accuracy. In Sakhalin in Russia, rocks were placed around the various platforms to protect them against erosion. Thanks to the installation of an inclined fall pipe, the works could be executed very close to the platforms. A similar protection coat consisting of rocks was installed around the Ecofisk platform and the Troll A platform in Norway. 
In front of the Norwegian coast, a large seabed gravel foundation structure was placed. The foundation will support the spud cans of the three legs of the jack-up drilling rig during exploration drilling. The design of the foundation consists of three round pads with an average diameter of 60 meters. In 50 days, 200,000 tons of rocks and 15,000 tons of sand were installed at a water depth of 70 meters. Jan de Nul provided an alternative design with sand fill at the drilling location in order to spare the client the cost of a steel caisson. Simon Stevin has also successfully installed umbilicals up to 7.37 kilometers at 90 meters water depth on the east coast of the island of Sakhalin. These umbilicals serve to control the subsea structures from land. The start and end SDU of the umbilical were lowered to the seabed within half a meter from the target location. The umbilical was installed accurately inside a V-trench with touchdown monitoring by the ROV.